So continuing on here, here's a strip of bamboo that I went out and just hacked. I also found um, some dead pieces that I cut out in the field. What like there? What I've done is uh, I cut the notch at the notch, right? So they're naturally sealed. Um, so these are larger, larger holes, uh, about the size of a pencil, right? A little bit bigger. These should be fine, I hope based on what I've learned. And um, now I'm going to quickly finish it up with some green. So I'm trying different material. You've got to watch yourself. I already cut myself using a rusty saw. Here's a jack saw. Um, probably designed for cutting bamboo, right? A little double-edged hand saw. I'll put a ladder out here so I can uh, quickly uh, just uh, start cutting. Use this as a natural brace. Try to make it a little bit flatter, right? Always when you're cutting, you know, it's like anything else, you gotta be careful. So, um, I'm gonna start it here. This one is actually too, ooh, cut in here a little bit too. Okay, good size hole. That one's too short, I think. I think. Oh. And it's got, you gotta, you're gonna have to like brush out the paper. So cut. Let's try this side here. Smaller bite. That's yeah, nice. And then cut here. What I'm doing is cutting behind the uh, the chamber, so they're naturally sealed. And this is probably why the length, they said that the length is so important, right? I mean, I'm, I'm doing the natural, if this was, you know, if this, if this was in the wild. This is what they would be experiencing. And as you can see, actually, the different bees are taking different sized holes. All right. And what's nice is they're all about the same size. They're getting smaller and smaller. So the nice thing about bamboo is you're getting the different size bees, size that, you know, tailor to your bees. Try this one this way here. Okay. So now I have my pieces. Show what I got here. We can put it together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Now what I can do is uh, use the scissors to cut the little bamboo off. They look clean. Just check the openings. I don't know, what do you think? See, they got the natural seal on one end. Nice tube open on the other end. Right. You can use a piece of uh, bamboo stick just to clean them out. Make sure they're all the way to the bottom. All right. I guess I could put paper in these ones. Push 
that paper down. I wonder if the bees use this paper. We'll use this. I guess the leaf cutters may. They may use the paper, right? I'm using another stick just to make sure that the holes are are open. Smallest stick fits in there. That made a there's a paper. Look at that. It's pretty strong. You know, I wonder if you could make condoms out of this. <laughs> Obviously, a bigger bamboo. Shoot. I'm pushing the paper down. Pushing it all the way down. Put, use the paper as a clog at the bottom. It's actually kind of a... That one's too small. This one's... Need a smaller piece. Go down there, I guess it's okay. Okay, the last one here. All right, so now make sure the orientation on these things are all right. I gotta make sure this hole is clean. Well, how can I get in there? It obviously is not. Actually, I'm using a little bit of bamboo siding this side's longer so I'm actually going to use this side but it's small so it's like a two millimeter hole for the smallest type um, orientation all one direction it's here Grab this one here. I'm, I'm just sticking this st kind of strip of bamboo that I peeled off the side and just making sure that yeah, it cut out the paper. Just twist it. I don't know. I mean, we'll see how many take. So once you have this set up, what we can is actually let's stick them in here let's see how they, they should naturally All right. now I'm not doing with the paper because I don't even know if they're gonna take so this year it's an experiment I'm keeping it simple All right And what I'm probably going to do, so here we are. I don't know if I want to, um, you know, some can crawl right up in here. Um, I'm trying to think if I should bundle these together and put them in. I guess I was checking the size. I think I'm going to bundle them together and make them tighter. The other thing too is uh, I guess I could organize them so the big ones are on the bottom right and the smaller ones are on top if I really want to organize this thing or I can just have it random chaotic and the bees can just figure it out themselves. So I want the bigger ones on the bottom right doesn't look good there
Right. All right, so there you go. It's got a natural little lid on it, right? Um, if I want to make it even prettier, I could put this in a larger bamboo shaft. Um, it's going to uh, keep out the rain. You know, I could just cut up a bigger bamboo and stick it in there into a larger shaft. But next, I'm going to put it up. Um, I'm tempted about maybe putting a little honey feeder in here somehow. Um, you know, I don't know which way. I think I want to do it this way. Yeah, I want to keep this lid on it. I think this lid's good. You know, I could do more. I could get them all up in there. All right, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to uh, go ahead and bound, bind these up uh, with some tape. All right. Um, and, uh, at least get them a little bit more secure and then put them back in is what I'm thinking I don't know if we want to organize them or keep them chaos chaotic I don't know so I'm wondering if I put them flat I'm trying to think how I want to bind these together well I guess I'll play around with it and figure it out, you know, there's nothing much for you to watch here except for me putting them up and seeing if bees show up.